Cartilage restoration, wow, that's a big term. And let's break that down. What does that mean? Well, cartilage is that end of the bone, that cap that's at the end of the bone, that gristle, uh, that is a very unique structure. It provides cushion to your knee. And often with a lot of the sports injuries, we actually get injuries to the cartilage as well to our ligaments and our meniscus. So when we look at how to treat cartilage, we actually have to treat uh, the whole patient, you know, the same thing, the whole injury. And cartilage restoration is trying to figure out what is the best way to restore that cartilage for you as a patient so that hopefully you can get back towards the activities that you want to. Now cartilage restoration isn't for everybody. But for a lot of people who are having pain and symptoms from a cartilage injury, we have great technology and new things that we're doing here at OSU, which can really provide uh, yourself to have better out outcomes, better activities, and restoring that cartilage to a new surface so that you can do those. So one of the things we do at the cartilage restoration program here at OSU is really tailor what is the best treatment for the patient. Cartilage restoration actually encompasses a lot of different types of procedures. Those can be simple procedures like microfracture, osteochondral uh, transfer or OATS procedure, to osteochondral allografts, and even autologous chondrocyte implantation. These are all really big words, but what does it mean? Well, for every situation based on the location of the, de the uh, defect, as with uh, the patient's activities, um, the size of the defect, all these play a role as what might be the best option for you as a patient. My role as physician is actually to gather all this information and to try to look at what may be the best one for you. It is a long process. So sometimes when we look at cartilage restoration, it means that, boy, I might not be able to get back towards my sport right away. But again, our long-term goal is to give you a knee that functions well and hopefully continues to survive kind of slowing down that process of arthritis so that you don't have major arthritic problems at a young age. So each of these techniques, as you sit down with me, we will kind of go through them in detail and figure out which one is best for you. What's also great here at OSU is that we are also on the cutting edge of a lot of new techniques that are just on the verge of coming out into the US. So we're part of industry trials looking at uh, new techniques and are they better than what we already have. I'd be happy to provide more information and give you the opportunity to hear about these when you come and see us at OSU.